Right now, breaking news on News Channel 8. Tonight, after several cases showing up in South Florida, measles has arrived in the Tampa Bay area. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Florida already had eight confirmed cases of measles just recently. Yeah, they were all around Fort Lauderdale, but now Polk County is dealing with a case in a young adult there. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young joining us live from Polk County with a story. Alessandra. Keith and Stacy, the Florida Department of Health here in Polk County says that the infected person is between the ages of 20 and 24 and that the case was reported sometime during last week. With the first confirmed case of measles in Polk County, doctors in the area are telling people to have a heightened awareness. Dr. Paul Banerjee, medical director for Polk County Fire and Rescue, says measles is a virus that is airborne. The symptoms he says to look out for are coughing, a very high fever, watering eyes and nose. He says this virus causes a rash in your mouth and people will develop a large blotchy rash all over their body. He says people are infectious four days before the rash appears and four days after. Measles is more common in children and older people, but Dr. Banerjee says most people are vaccinated. He says there isn't a treatment, just a lot of Tylenol and hydration until you get better. It doesn't really affect a lot of people because we're all mostly vaccinated as children. But if you're not vaccinated or you have someone coming in from a country that's not vaccinated, you're at a higher risk of exposure. Now the doctor says if you have measles, you should absolutely be isolated from other people. Live in Polk County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.